Hello and welcome to the sixth lab of the JSON Web Token Attacks topic of the Web Security Academy. The name of the lab is JSON Web Token Authentication Bypass via Algorithm Confusion. I use the built-in browser of Burp and I also use the Burp extension JSON Web Token Editor. Okay, go to your browser and click the My Account link. Log in with the user Wiener and the password Peter. In the HTTP history tab, you see there are some requests are highlighted. That means that these requests contain JSON Web Token. We need the GET request to the endpoint my account, send this request to Burp Repeater, and switch to Burp Repeater. Here in the request section, change the request line to admin and send the request. In the response section, you see we received an HTTP 401 unauthorized. That means we can't access the admin panel as the user wiener. In the request section, there's a cookie header and this cookie header contains a session parameter and the value of this parameter is our JSON web token. A JSON web token consists of three parts. The first part is a header. You see double click it in the request section and it's decoded in the inspector section. The second part is the payload double click it and you see it is decoded in the inspector section. The last part of a JSON web token is the signature, but this one is not important for us in this lab. Okay, now the first part is to obtain the server's public key. For that, go to the home of your web application and put in, in the address bar jwks.json and hit enter. JSON, <laughs> JSON, hit enter and copy the whole JWK. Okay, so and copy and close this tab. Okay, now the next part is to generate a malicious signing key. For that, go to Burp and click the JWT editor keys and here click the new RSA key. Now paste the copied JWK and you see the format is the JWK. Click OK and the key is generated. Now go to the key and right click on it and select the option copy public key as PEM. Now go to the verb decoder to decode, uh, to encode this encode Base 64 and copy the whole string. And copy. Now go to the JVT, uh, JWT editor keys and click the button New Submit key. Click the Generate button. And replace the value of the K property with our base64 decoded, encoded, uh, decoded key. Okay. Paste. And save the key. Okay, the third part is modify and sign the token. Now go back to Burp Repeater and click the tab JSON Web Token. In the header of 
we to resize it in the header of the JSON web token replace the value of the i parameter to h s two five six in the payload section replace the value of sub from wiener to administrator and click the sign button okay now change the key or oh, no here is a key our new sign symmetric key leave everything as it is and click the OK button. Okay, now our JSON Web Token is signed. And click the Send button to send the request. You see in the response section, I will resize it. We received an HTTP 200 OK. That means we can access the admin panel. We have successfully signed the JSON Web Token. Okay, now we need to delete the user Carlos. We look for the endpoint for this task here. Copy the whole path. Copy and paste it in the request section. For that, click the raw button and replace the request line. Slash admin slash delete question mark username equal Carlos. Send the request. And you see we received an three HTTP 302 found. Click the follow redirection button. And of course, in the browser, you see we solved the lab. And in the response section, there are two messages. The first one, congratulations, you've solved the lab. And the most important one is user deleted successfully.